Welcome to the recording for Design 301, our lecture for September 7th. This is going to be a somewhat shortened video. Um, my apologies, but my recording uh, flash drive overfilled today, so it did not record the regular lecture, but I'm going to catch the main things for you. So here I am. I am in VMware. I do have Adobe open. I've got my Google Drive open. And I've got uh, my AutoCAD open with the appropriate settings made. And what I'm going to do today is look at copy, move, trim, and offset. And we're going to particularly work on these plates. One, two, three, and four. Now I've already downloaded those, so I'm going to go find those. Those are on my U drive in VMware, and I've got a uh, folder for them, and here they are week three. So I can look at that, and voila, there it is. That's what I'm going to draw. Now to do this, I'm going to notice that if this was a solid grid, in all directions, I could quickly make a grid and then get rid of the parts that I don't want. So that's the process I'm going to do. I'm going to make a grid and then get rid of what I don't want. So there we go. So I can minimize this. I can make this a little bit smaller over here. I'll use that in a few moments because I want to get a copy of it into here so i'm going to bring that over and i'm just going to drag it right in and put it right there so now i've got it in my drawing and it's easy to see so the first thing i notice is that i do have my rectangle to draw it starts at zero zero and goes to 10 comma 7.5 so i'm going to do that i'm going to use the rectangle command I'm going to start at 0, 0, enter. That locks in the first point, 10, 7.75, enter. That locks in my second point. And here's your first chance to do the move command. There's lots of ways to do it, but I'm going to do it by clicking on the move icon, move, selecting the item. Now, when I select the item, if I hold the left mouse button down, it sort of makes this lasso weird thing. Okay, if I want it to go square, I'll click the left button and let go, and I'm moving the mouse without my finger on the button, and then I will click. And once I've selected my object, I can type enter to make sure it knows that i've got them all and i can pick a spot on the object click on it let it go and then bring it over close click so now i'm over here where i can go and as it said that says i can start anywhere but i've got a line that's 4.18 long and then i can copy 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 at 0.38 so let me do that I'm going to start a line here. Click to start. 4.18 type enter. And enter again stops the command. Now I'll use the copy button. Copy. Ask me to select the objects. Click. Enter to tell it I'm done clicking. Take a spot and move it up. 0.38. So that's what I'm going to do all the way up, but I have to figure out what up is. So I'm going to draw this line, 4.18, and I'm going to do that copy until I get to the top. 4.18, enter, enter to stop the command, and I'll go copy, select the item, enter, pick some point on the item, and move it up the distance. 0.38, enter. Now, I can redo my command by hitting 
enter. Select the object, enter, up 0.38, enter, and enter ends my command. So that's one cool way to do it, but we all want a fast way, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to say copy, and I'm going to take this one, enter, and I'm going to start behind it one. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. That's kind of cool. Now, when I go over the other way, I can type copy. Just another way to do it. Select the object. Move it over this way. 0.38. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I'll do that copy command. I'll do it the fast, easy way this time. Start here. So that's kind of a, a nice little shortcut, and you can see that now, and now I'm going to hit enter because I'm done, I have a grid. So to get rid of this little piece of line in between these and this little piece of line, since I'm getting rid of a line in between other lines, I can use the trim command. Here it is up here, a little pair of scissors, trim. And this one works a little bit different. Once I hit trim, I can just come down and touch what I want to trim. And so I see it's like three boxes over, trim, trim. And three boxes down, trim, trim. Three boxes up, trim, trim the fourth. Now watch this one. If I hold my mouse down, I drag it across, it starts trimming everything I touched. Enter. Now here's kind of a bummer. If I found I made a mistake and I do Control Z or undo, it undid all of them. Darn, I'm going to go put them back now. So if I don't specifically end a command and I do undo it really undoes a lot so if I want to if I want to make sure that doesn't happen I'll hit enter to finish my command do it again enter to finish my command now when I do control Z undo it only undoes the last one. I'm going to put it back. And so now I'm just, this is the process for this one. I'm not going to do it all. I'm going to do some of it. But I just have to look at this drawing and start taking away pieces that look like they don't belong. That looks about right. Enter. This little thing right here goes around that little corner and over. Looks like this little thing right here, around the corner and over. Your eyes just have to be good at this. Now I can hold it down and hold it down. And I think I need to hold down I have that right. It goes down and around, down and around and over. So I better hit enter so I don't mess it up. And now I just hit enter again to get it to repeat my command. So my mouse is down, let go. Mouse is down, let go. Mouse is down. Let go. So that's how you do it, and you just keep going around. So I'll save this now. Save as. I have to go find my spot.
I've already done it, so I gave it a different name. Now, to put it into my, my portfolio, I'm going to snip. And I have to get the snip that's in my, I don't have to, but I'm taking my snip that's in my VMware. New. And let's try to get the whole thing. And I notice I got that X, not my cursor in there. I'm going to do it again. I also remember how I go right click line weights. I set it for inches and then I make it a little darker. I just get a better, better thing out of it. So here we go. New. That look. Well, I still got one in there. Now it's gone. Sometimes you have to do it a few times. File. Save as. I'll find my good spot for it on my U drive. And, and I've already done it once, so I'll call this my 1.1 complete. So that did a little bit. It it told you how to do some of those things. Now, I told you about the undo, and you have to finish a command all the way, or it undoes everything. And and I talked about how to, how to hold the mouse down to make the little lasso, or Click, let it go. Click to do the other one. All right, so now I'm ready for a new one. I'm going to do plate number two now. And this one's got a lot to it. I'm just going to click my new drawing. And then all my presets are pretty well set. Okay, so now I can bring this up and I can bring plate two in. I just drag it and let it go. There we go. And I have my 00, zero to 10.75 again. So let me do that. From 0, 0, enter 10,7.75. That's 10 sideways, 7.75 up. I'll do my. Now, the move command is cool. I can highlight and then. Type M for move. That's another way to do it. It's not quite so careful about what order you have to go in. You can do it lots of different ways. Now look, here's the here's what I'm going to do here. I see a square, a rectangle. It's 2.5 square, and there's four of them. One, two, three, four. And each of them has a square inside of it that is 0.5 to the inside. So I'm going to make a square, and I'm going to start it right here, 2.2, .2, and it's 2.5 on a side. And then I'm going to do something called offset, which just makes a copy of it half an inch in. And then I'll copy, move, copy, move. You'll see what happens. So here I go. Start at 2, 2. And then go 2.5 one direction, 2.5 the other direction, and I've got it. Now I'm going to do that offset command. There it is right there. Kind of a weird little offset line. Offset, it asks me how far. 0.5. It's telling me to select the object. Click. If I drag it outwards, it goes outwards. If I drag it inwards, it goes inwards. My finger is not on the button yet. When I have it the right way, I click. So there we go. And I think I need to get my line weights redone here. There we go. Now look. I can do the move command and all that kind of stuff, but I think it's easier to copy it from corner to corner and then move it what it says. That way I don't have to figure anything out. So I'm going to do a copy. Click. Let go. Click. Select the object. Yeah, I've got two objects now. But I'm done. Enter. And I want this corner to line up at the other corner. 
Now I can move it exactly how far it says. Click, select, click, enter. And I can be anywhere just to move it over 0.5. Now I can do that whole process again. Copy. Get all the objects I want to copy. Enter. Start at the lower corner and copy it up to the top corner. I can even keep going, but I'm not going to. And then I'll move. Up. Point and this was all made easiest by making these rectangles out of actual rectangles instead of four lines. Okay, now I've got to move over one and up one to start my next square, which is three and a half. So I'm going to do what's called a construction line. And I just draw a little line that I can get rid of later on. I'm going to go to the right one and up one. Enter to finish it. And that went over to the right one and up one to get that little corner right there. And so from that little corner, I can make a square that's 3.5. 3.5, And I can do the offset on that one, which is also 0.5. Click on it and make it come in. Now here's the cool thing about I can erase these, and it doesn't leave a schmeary mark. That's kind of nice. Now, the last thing is to, to just look at these and see where there's lines crossing where I have to get rid of them. So trim. I think it's those two and those two. I got rid of those two, and I got rid of those two. So I'm going to press Enter because I like it. I'll press enter to do it again, and I need the two up and down and up and down. Up and down and up and down. Enter so that I can start a new one again. These ones go sideways. So I hold my mouse button down, drag it over, let it go. Enter. Hold my mouse button down, drag it up. Hold my mouse button down, drag it up. There we go. And I've got that one. So I better save this one too. Save as two, one. And take my snip and save it. Two There we go. That's what we covered today in lab. I'll get this posted for you shortly. Just as a note, that took me 18 minutes to do the whole thing. And so I usually figure it's going to take you four or five times. So it might take you an hour to an hour and a half to do both of these, I hope. Uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're shooting for.